Over two-thirds of Kenyans over the age of 15 own a cell phone, but only 8 to 9 percent have access to the internet. And for the biggest company by market cap on the NSE, its growth won't be acquisitive or through regional expansion. The onset of the Seacom fiber optic cable has meant that the future earning potential of Safaricom lies in data. Proceeds from Safaricom's five-year 12 billion Kenyan shilling bond, the first tranche of which was 50% oversubscribed, is going to be invested in this. The proceeds of the bond will be used for capital expansion of, of our network to expand our data, our data network, particularly we're spending it on our WiMAX network and on our 3G network. We don't see that we're going to use the proceeds for any acquisitions in the near term. CECOM means big prospects for Kenya's ICT sector. 18 months ago, we did not have a single international gateway on ICT. Now we have two. We expect to have three by the end of next year. We shall be the most connected country internationally in, on the African continent, up from zero. For the NSC's first ICT-listed company, Access Kenya, CECOM not only means a 55% cost reduction for clients, it also means things have got a whole lot more competitive. The competitive space has totally changed. Um, we used to be in a nice niche called the ISP business where we would be competing with other data providers. Obviously, now a lot of the GSM companies have also moved into data. Um, Safaricom, Zane and even um, Orange have moved into the, uh, the data space. So they would be competing more on the 3G, uh, what we call the mobility network, mobility type of um, data. Um, we're still competing or we're still providing services more on the fixed data. So it's a bit of a different market. They're going for mass market and for us on the lowest end of the market, which is residential, we're still going for the high end of the residential of the market. So there's, there's, there's actually a thin line, but there's still a distinguished uh, difference between the kind of the part of the market niche that we're going for and what they're going for. So it, we still complement each other. A lot of clients would start off with a Safaricom 3G modem and when they want to upgrade, they'll actually move to a WiMAX system fixed network from Access Kenya. Entrepreneur Nicholas Nesbitt returned to Kenya after spending two decades in the United States. He saw potential in Kenya's ICT industry back in the day when voice over IP was illegal. Looking for a viable investment, he set up the country's first contact centre, KenCall. Over the years, he's seen the rewards of not only getting into the market early, but with the arrival of Seacom, he's looking at taking on some global players. When we were offering international clients communication over satellite, they were very hesitant to commit. But now with Seacom, we're now running tests with some very large insurance companies in the States who we could never have spoken to or gone this far. We've brought on two clients from the UK. We have more in the wings. And suddenly we're at a, at a technical playing field that's on par with anyone anywhere in the world. Kenya might be small fry in the business process outsourcing space right now, but this is one sector which won't be left hanging in the years to come. This has the makings of a, of a very large um, industry. It's estimated that worldwide it's a $12 billion industry and this is uh, not an amount uh, to, be, to be ignored. Kenya's ICT industry is testament to the opportunities and enterprising nature of its people. But it's not for investors interested in only short-term gains. You're walking into people that might be operating in a smaller pond, but it doesn't mean that their ability to swim is any much uh, less. It's just that the market is a whole lot uh, smaller. When I came here, I had uh, experience of working at the largest corporations and going to the best schools. And um, I thought I was coming in to save Kenya, save Africa. And uh, a lot of the people who are well entrenched basically said, stand in line, young man, wait and earn your stripes yeah. and it was a real lesson and I think a lot of the companies that come in here thinking that they carry a very big brand on a very large business card therefore they know a lot more um, but that's not the case come in come in wisely come in humbly um, come in and make sure that you're in there for uh, the long term um, nobody respects uh, Johnny come lately who's going to be a one or two year wonder Come in, plant your roots, bring in the right people that you need to, um, and uh, be in here for the long term. And if you do that, you'll become very successful. 